I'm going to close with one more story for you guys. Uh, I was visiting a friend of mine, and we were talking, and out of the blue, totally unsolicited, he just said, if anyone ever touched my kids, I would kill them and feel nothing. <laughs> like, as if I had brought that up. <laughs> like, I asked, how was your weekend, and he heard, who would you be willing to kill, and under what circumstances, and what, if anything, would you feel about it? <laughs> But I get it, like he's a parent. Parents parents are like that. They worry. They think every bad thing is gonna happen to their kid. Right? They're like they're just worried that their kid is gonna be born with a terrible birth defect, and he's gonna get violently bullied, and he's gonna get kidnapped, and he's gonna get abused, and he's gonna get hooked on drugs, and he's gonna eventually kill some kill him someday. And only like two of those things are gonna happen, but still they like worry a lot. So I got it. The next time I visited him, it was weird, because the exact same thing happened! We were talking about one of his classes, and he went, Yeah, if anyone ever kill, if anyone ever touches my kids, I'll kill them and feel nothing. Which means he either works this into every conversation, which, married friends, if you think you wonder why I don't want to hang out with you, that's why. Or, he thinks, I, in particular, need to know about his pedophile murder policy. <laughs> and I resent that. <laughs> because, yes, I do know that I look like someone who hasn't had much luck with adults, but I would never harm anybody. <laughs> I'm overweight, I have these glasses, this shirt probably doesn't help. I get it, but still, that's a harmful stereotype. And what do you want me to do? What, should I just lose some weight so that I look like what, Jared from Subway? That wouldn't help. Like, if I look like a general stereotype, I can at least get mad when people are like using the stereotype, right? Like if you're black and someone's afraid of you, you can call them a racist. But if you look specifically like O.J. Simpson, like you have to kind of give it to him a little bit. <laughs> so, like, even if you think I look creepy, even if you think I look like the To Catch a Predator version of Josh from Drake and Josh, this is the best it's gonna get. This is the best it's gonna get. You're gonna have to live with it. <laughs>